Hello, great people. Welcome back to Global Happenings today. The tension in APC screening committee is building up day after day. Yesterday was day one of the screening of all the presidential aspirants who are vying for the position of presidential candidacy for APC. On the list of people who were um, quizzed yesterday was Tinibu, Devuma, Yi, Bakare, and a host of others. And and uh, somehow, there's some question that were thrown at them, which uh, somehow was leaked into the social media. And a lot of people gave their own personal opinions about some of those questions. And uh, we're going to be looking at it. It wasn't just one question. It was many. But one that attracted the interest of the public was the case of consensus candidacy, which has been one issue that have been roaming around APC ever since the issue of presidential you know, uh, primaries came up. We're going to be looking at the standpoint of some of these candidates and also some of the underground things that may likely work against them. But before we give you full details of the news, we'd like you to, uh, we'd like to encourage you to please subscribe to our channel by hitting on the red subscribe button and also the bell icon so that you can get notification anytime we publish our videos. Now, according to the news, the All Progressive Congress Presidential Screening Committee has asked the party's presidential aspirants if they would be ready to step down for the consensus candidate of the party. The committee, headed by a former national chairman of the party, Chief John Oyegun, queried the aspirants on 10 key issues, including their dual citizenship status. While there have been reports that the party may adopt consensus candidate, the national chairman, Senator Abdullahi Adamu, who emerged through the method to in the month of March, during an interview with Voice of America Hauser Service on May 26, said it would not be possible for electing the party's presidential candidate. This is serious. <laughs> I'll take that again. He said, while there have been reports that the party may adopt consensus candidate, the national chairman, Senator Abdullahi Adamu, who emerged through the method in March, during an interview with the Voice of America, Hauser Savis on May 26 said it would not be feasible for electing the party presidential candidate. According to Punch, the issue of, of consensus and foreign citizenship, however, came up when presidential aspirants, including the party national chairman, Bola Ahmed Tiribu, Governor Dave Umayi of Ebony State, his Jigawa State counterpart, Badaru Abubakar, the immediate past minister of state for education, Emeka Mwajuba, Undo not lawmaker, Senator Ajayi Buru, Buruface, Pastor Tunde Bakare and Mrs. Uju Kennedy were screened in Abuja on Monday. The question the aspirants were asked include, do you have dual citizenship? Are you the subject of investigation by the Economic and Financial Crime Commission or the Independent Corrupt Practice and Other Related Offenses Commission? Have you... Have you been arraigned by the Code of Conduct Bureau and have you ever been convicted for a crime? Other questions asked include, have you ever been declared bankrupt? Will you be willing to step down for a consensus candidate? What is your manifesto? Who will you abide by the party's objective and manifesto? What is your APC membership status? The aspirants were also asked to present original copies of their credentials, including school certificates. One of the aspirants said they asked us pretty much the same questions. They asked about our records with anti-craft agency, citizenship status, finances, and our manifesto. Of course, there were a few follow-up questions depending on the response given. They asked if I had my EFCC or ICPC case. They asked about my manifesto and also asked me if I would be willing to step down in the event of a consensus. I told them I am a party man and would abide by the wishes of the party, APC. 
Last week, human rights activist Kaya Deajulo, who is a campaigner for the vice president, Yemi Sinbanjo, wrote President Muhammadu Buhari and the national chairman of the APC on the danger of picking a candidate with dual citizenship or past criminal record. Julo said there was a plot by the opposition to ensure that the APC is disqualified on the basis of this, just as was done in the Bayelsa governorship race in February 2020. Now, looking at all of this, you realize um, if we want to look at it from an objective uh, standpoint, they do not want to have any issue that may frustrate their effort in securing victory after all of this and secondly i i perceive there are some people that are really out for all right so but right now if you look at the entirety of apc there are certain people who are in the media glare right now who most people believe they may likely be you know um the most favorite for example we know of tinibu tinibu uh we've we heard of the praises uh ganduje Put on him in respect to how he successfully um, packaged uh, Buhari and uh, he was able to overcome, you know, the uh, the PDP far back in 2015. So Tinibu is topmost on the list. The second person is Yemi Sinbanjo, and also we have someone from the north. I think he is uh, one of the people that uh, uh, most people are clamoring for from the north, talking about Ahmed Lawan, the current Senate president, the president of the nine Senate. All right. Now, if you look at the questions that have been thrown out, you realize that some of these guys are guilty. Rocha Sokorocha, like that, is not even a case. That one is, uh, he has already a strong case currently. He's trying to see how he can pay a bill of 500 million naira. I'm going to bring you that news in a jiffy. A bill, a bill of 500 million naira. So already on the grounds of having case with ICPC and EFCC, he is going to be ticked, you know, um, he's going to be ticked wrong there. Now, um, Tinibu has a case which had been covered down the the, the bullion uh, bullion van case and there's also this issue of dual citizenship i don't know if tinibu has dual citizenship you know no one can tell but uh, i think yemi siban job may likely not have it and uh, um ahmed lawan too may not likely have it have you ever been bankrupt i don't think all of them have ever been bankrupt and then if you also want to look at uh, uh, some other questions that were thrown at them and begin to put them uh, through the scale on the basis of those questions two people i know may come out that's two people who are publicly accepted both by the south and by the north there are two Tinibu, for me, Tinibu is out because of the case with EFCC, which I know it will come up at a point. And even the Bwahaha around his uh, educational qualification, they, they, I think it, the day ago, some, a guy came up and talked so much about uh, certification that he came out from University of Chicago, that he was not there and all of that. You know, the issue of age also came up. So Tinibu... I, I don't know how it will be handled, but I doubt if he will be able to secure, you know, um, secure anything like a ticket from APC. That one is quite personal based on, you know, uh, some of the things I have said. Then Ahmed Lawan is a free guy. He has no case with the EFCC thus far. Yemi Sinbanjo, there was this thing that people were just shouting around. He has it, but actually, nobody came up and accosted him that he had a case with EFCC. Those two guys who are well known, Emeka uh, Mwajuba, also, is a clean guy, also, but then uh, acceptability, national acceptability is one thing he may be lacking in. You know, Okorocha is out of Dave Umayi, also. We are yet to hear any case, you know, about Dave, Dave Umayi and all of that. But the topmost to Yemi Simbanjo and Ahmed Lawan. The question is, who are they going to give the ticket to? If they give it to Ahmed Lawan, who is incidentally also from the Northeast, uh, things will not go well because uh, a lot of there will be a lot of division and i think at that point also some of the parties will split into different sizes you know and all of that so uh, i don't know who the consensus party will be but personally if you ask me who the consensus party uh, consensus candidate sorry not party consensus candidate will be i think it will be between emeka juba 
that's um, between sorry Yemi Osimba and Jo number one number two is Ahmed Lawan and that Emeka Mwajuba because and I don't know about uh, Dave Uma. Dave Uma is new to the deal so uh, I, I may not really put him um if you talk about the power minister you know sorry minister of transportation he has a lot of cases. There's one that uh, Wiki brought off fairly recently. Currently, they are probing him, and that part, the amount was all into billions. You understand? So, uh, these two people are the few. I want you to go to the comment section. Tell me, what's your viewpoint on this? Who do you think at the end of the 7th of June will be crowned or will be given the flag to fly for APC in the presidential?